We need to rethink how people think about medicine. It may be that we need to look again at the traditional patient-doctor model, where the patient goes into a waiting room, waits to see the doctor, has a diagnosis made and so on. I'm uh, Robert McLaren, I'm Professor of Ophthalmology at the University of Oxford and I'm lucky and I have a very interesting job. Um, I work as an eye surgeon looking after patients with eye problems and also I run a lab full of some very talented young people working mainly on developing new genetic treatments for eye disease. It, it's widely known that amongst young people genetic causes are the most common cause of untreatable blindness in the developed world and many of these diseases are potentially treatable if we apply the right genetic technology. And this is an area that particularly excites me and it's broadly the area that we focus our research on. The way I see it is that we have two main objectives. We can improve the treatments we currently offer, make them more widely available, make them better, and at the same time, we can develop new treatments that we currently don't have for those patients for whom there's currently, unfortunately, no treatment for their disease. Well, what I learned from the workshop was how you can use electronic technology, particularly for early diagnosis, for streamlining patient visits, and possibly even for remote monitoring. In other words, most people in the world have a mobile phone. So if you can somehow monitor their eye health with a mobile phone, then you're giving access to healthcare, potentially to billions of people worldwide, for whom otherwise it would be quite difficult. One of the issues that we have to, have to think about is how to bring people on board, how to introduce the technology to the world's population, and indeed how to introduce it to the population in our own countries, because not everyone is completely familiar and, and comfortable with using electronic technology. On top of that, we have to think about ways of streamlining the whole process of patient referral, patient assessment, and patient treatment. And it may be that we need to look again at the traditional patient-doctor model, where the patient goes into a waiting room, waits to see the doctor, has a diagnosis made, and so on. So we need to rethink how people think about medicine. What I found particularly interesting was um, not just thinking about a solution, but thinking about where you want to go, what you want to do, what are the potential barriers on that road, how can you overcome those barriers, and, and where in the time frame do you see those barriers coming? This has made me think a lot about how I'm going to change a little bit in the way I conduct my own research, looking at the problems that we face, uh, both with the clinical management, but in particular with developing these exciting new genetic treatments. I was particularly interested to learn about the developments in artificial intelligence. And again, this is something that's very important and in coming into ophthalmology where we may have lots of patients, lots of images, to try and get an early diagnosis of certain conditions and also to understand our outcomes in terms of how can we improve outcomes. When you look at patterns emerging in potentially thousands of patients, um, artificial intelligence can help us to find a way to improve things. I enjoyed meeting ophthalmology colleagues, um, most of whom are in similar areas to me. And of course, I also in enjoyed meeting the industry people who are working in the same field, but look at it from a completely different perspective. Um, I learned about the challenges of getting new technologies through regulatory approval, and also the difficulties early stage companies have in attracting funding to get their novel ideas into the clinical domain. Unconstrained thinking, I would imagine, is just trying to, trying to look at the problem uh, and to give it a solution that may not be using conventional means. Okay, so in other words, I, th I think the term would be thinking out of the box, looking at the problem from a different perspective, perhaps engaging people who work in completely different areas, business people, scientists, to look at the problems that we face and give us ideas that we haven't really thought about. <laughs>